Hello everyone, hope you are fine. My name is Webs Road, and today I will guide you about how do I set bleed and margins for print in Adobe InDesign. If you like this video please like and subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for more videos and latest updates. Okay now, let me guide you about it. It's very easy and simple. Just click on Create New Button. Pop-up will open on your screen. Go to Print, and you will some print pages on your screen. Let's click on Letter Size. You will see is the side panel. There are many options. Like Height, Width, Units, and much more. Let's select some one unit. Now these are margins, bleed and slug. So let's open both of these. Now put any value in bleed. Usually people use 3 mm to 5 mm bleed size. Click on create and then new page will open with bleed size. Now let me tell you about what is bleed size and why we use bleed. Bleed is a printing term that is used to describe a document which has images or elements that touch the edge of the page, extending beyond the trim edge and leaving no white margin. On this page this is bleed size which is extra from white. And this is margin size from blue border to edge of the page. You can increase or decrease size of margin and bleed from side panel also. If you select on this option make all settings same then all value will change at same time and will apply same values, but if you unselect this option then you need to change margin size one by one. It's dependent on your requirement. Now if you want to change bleed size from this panel, then you will select to just layout, you will see new pop up on the page and then you will change the value on this field. It's up to you how much size you will give your printing agency for printing. Now, let me tell you why we apply bleed size. Imagine you are designing a brochure. It is a foreign letter size, has a nice title, with some extra detail, and it has a big picture. All of this sits on a dark background. You send it off to your printers, who don't flag up that your file doesn't contain bleed. When its printing is done you will see, maybe there is any white space on the edges. Which does not give good impression. But if you give bleed size you will never see any extra white space on edges of brochure. Let me give you some more detail about it. Let's create a box and color it. In this, the extra part of this box, from the white edges, is bleed size. Now, if you use image, after putting image in the box, you need to increase height of box for bleed size. If you use image on corner of page, then you need to increase size from both sides. So, that's all about margins and about bleed size. Hope you love this video. If you like this, then please like and subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for more videos and latest updates. Thanks for watching our video. Good. Bye.